Welcome to What's New in Your Sage Business Works version 2019 Service Pack 3. Some new features have been added in the Service Pack 3 for your version 2019, and here's what you can expect to see. In payroll, the employee date of birth has now been added to the employee master list report. The employee hours list report includes sick pay hours and wages. The global employee change now allows you to update the sick pay start hours for your employees. The New Mexico SUI wage base has been updated to 24,800 for the tax year 2019. In General Ledger, you can now run the General Ledger summary trial balance for a specific date range or for a fiscal year. Let's take a look at a demo of these new features. We'll start in payroll with the employee master list and the date of birth. In payroll, under employees and maintain employees, if you have added the date of birth to your employee, this information will now display on the employee master list. Let's take a look. Under payroll, employees, employee master list, we can see that our date of birth is now listed under the social security number. The employee hours list now includes sick pay hours and wages. If we go to payroll, reports, employee reports, employee lists, you'll click on your lookup and there's a report called employee hours list. If we preview this to the screen, as soon as your report generates, you'll see we've now added next to the vacation the sick hours and sick pay. You can now update the sick pay start hours for each of your employees using the global employee change. Currently under payroll employees, maintain employees, you establish under the vacation button the sick pay hours rate, start, and then the program will calculate the accrued earned hours and then any taken hours that have been entered on a time card. Several states have now implemented requirements for employers to accrue sick leave for their employees. The ability to globally change the start hours at the beginning of every year can reduce a lot of data entry time. Here's how it works. We go to payroll, employees, employee global change. I'm going to include all my employees and for the data to change I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and find sick pay start hours. For the original value it's set to zero but I'm going to set my new value for each of my employees to start out getting 32 hours. And I'm going to say OK and it tells me it's changed my employees. I'm going to close out of the global employee change I'm going to go back into my maintain employees. I can see that each one of my employees start time has now been reset to 32. If you are an employer in the state of New Mexico, the SUI base wage has been increased to $24,800. After installing Service Pack 3, please verify under payroll taxes maintain tax tables, select your state of New Mexico, click on the allowances, limits, and rates and make sure that the limit has changed to $24,800. And the last new feature we're going to demo is the General Ledger Summary Trial Balance. Under General Ledger Reports Trial Balance, if we click on the lookup and select our summary trial balance. Previously we could only run by a current month or any previous month. We now have added the ability, if we scroll up at the top, to do your prior current fiscal years along with a specific posting date range. So I now can use May 1 through May 31, 2019 and preview this to the screen and I'm going to get my report. 
Now an important thing to note, just as with the detailed trial balance, when you run this trial balance using a date range filter, the beginning balance for the accounts will always be zero. And one last important note on the summary trial balance. If you run a detailed trial balance as of a specific date, we can use future posting dates. So if my current open month is May, I could use future dates and my detail will list because it is looking at the detail posting date. So my report does generate with the detail. If we do the summary trial balance using our same future date, let's look at our summary trial balance and we use our same posting date for future transactions of June of 2019 no information is displayed on my report. Future transactions are never included in totals. The summary report shows the period total line which will not reflect any future balances. This concludes our demo of the new features that have been added to the version 2019 Service Pack 3. If you would like to see new features added to the program, remember to let us know you can go to your program menu at the top and select Help, Support and Service on the Web, Submit Enhancement Suggestion. Tell us what you would like to see. Thank you for listening.